Damn, dude, this guy's tiny. He must be a dwarf. Sorry, I'm not interested in being friends with midgets. Midgets piss me off. Huh, I'm... The comments under this video have been distasteful, disgusting, and outright disrespectful. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> and hey, hey, so hey. What? You do, not get, do not get up in my face like this. You don't want, you do well, not want to be playing this. We can't talk man to man? We can't talk man to man? I don't think that's possible. That's not possible? Why? I don't think it's possible because Why? there's only one man standing in this aisle right now. Now sit me. down, little miss. And it's before I go ahead and like get, child. I'm going to go ahead and get TSA to come on this plane and haul you off. Why would you want to make that big of a show about it? Why would they haul me off? You want to make that big of a show because you're not confirming the document that I have. You don't want to identify me as such? Uh, the government chose what to identify you when you were born in a hospital. They wrote M or F next to your birth certificate. Okay, that is my that, life. That was dictated by a power much and greater than mine. And it's my life, and I don't right? feel that way. A higher I feel power like than I'm me. A I'm man, not the authority. So I'm a man. I'm not the authority that assigned you, you need what to you get, were assigned. She need to get up out of his face. You don't have authority at all. She need to get up out of his face. I agree. Thank you, sir. I I, if you it. continue mm. this display, if you cannot confirm what my docket says here, that there are, in fact, two ladies sitting in this aisle, then you're going to have to leave. There is one lady and leave. one man. Well, that's not what it says I need in these seats in order to fly. So if you're going to continue to fight the facts that I'm looking at right here, then I'm going to have to haul you off because you could be a dangerous person. We don't know. We have no way of confirming this. Because I identify as a male? Because you're not because the person on my list. You're not because the person I on my list. a man? It's a simple one of two answers. Are you mad because I'm no more man than you? There's no gray zone. Is that what you're mad about? Is it really that big of a deal? You, you want to get up is in my face right about? now? I don't need mm -hmm. this job. Look, you you, you want to play oh, big enough, man? This job? You want to play Let's big enough, man? All right. Look. Oh. What? No, you know don't what? don't lose your job. 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 Because in court, in court, that's not going to be in court. That's not going to be a man. Don't lose your job. Don't lose your job, brother. Don't lose it. That's a good point. In court, that's not a man. Uh uh, man. Because I ain't even going out like that. Come on, y'all. I'm about to eat with a little chick from Instagram or whatnot. You feel me? This is our first date. This is our first time linking up. You feel me? We only just been talking through the gram or whatnot. So she get here. Tell me why she pop up with three kids. Three of them? You feel me? Got a five year old, got a seven year old, and a 17 year old. I'm 27. Your old is almost older than me. You only about 33. What age you started? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never ever post these kids. So all of a sudden we go out to eat. Oh, I got three kids. Come on, ladies, y'all can't be doing that. We gotta do, we gotta do way better than that, man. Don't even get me started. She don't even look like what she look like on Instagram. Straight catfish. Come on, ladies, y'all. Oh, man, I ain't, uh -uh, I ain't going out like that, man. Y'all got up. Come on, man. Come on, man. I ain't even, uh, uh I ain't on that. Straight up. Ain't no poor ass. Not like that, but come on, we gotta do better, ladies. For real. Yeah. Hey, mama. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to eat right now, mama. Mm hmm. Yeah, we got a little restaurant. Yeah, the girl I was telling you about from Instagram that I met. This Nia. Say, what's up, Nia? Hi. Yeah, this is the kids, right? Y'all say hi, kid. Hi. Uh huh. Yeah, this is Kayla. She's five. That's Timmy. He's seven. And this Sharice. She's 17. Uh-huh. Right. So what you gonna be doing later, mama? All right. Well, let me just give you a call back later then. Mm-hmm. How the food is, kids? It's good. It's good? Look like your food good. You eating a whole lot over there. What's up, mama? What about you? How you feeling? Everything is good. Y'all think y'all gonna get something to eat to go? Come on, now. you. I got it. I can handle it. Just Let's just make sure they eat enough food. They good. I don't know. I, I may get a to-go box for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get enough. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all fill it. Y'all paid up, all right? all right? Yeah. So when you get you one, make sure you get me in one too. So you feel me? I got okay. it. I'm gonna handle it. All right. Let all me right. run to the car real quick. Let me go grab my wallet. I'll all be right. right back. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Y'all know we ain't doing that. <laughs> Straight up out of here. Y'all know we ain't doing none of that. Uh-uh, baby. I'm sorry. You can't get me. Nah, because we ain't doing that. Not this year. F nah, man. Don't even play me like that. Ain't even no broke ass <laughs> fit me, but three kids? Hell nah. It was just 17. <laughs> Should be paying for me. <laughs> Y'all thought this was. This about this our first date. How you expect me to just pay for three kids like that, man? Hell nah. 
Come on, man. I'm out of here. I don't even play like that, man. What's wrong with you, baby? Come on, man. Ain't no bro, but just I'm just saying, ladies, y'all gotta at least give us the opportunity to like let me say, yeah, don't just do the just uh, expecting me to just you feel me? I don't rock out like that, baby. Ain't no duck ass man. I'm out of here. I don't play that. Pay for your own food, or you're gonna be washing dishes. Hell, you talking? Men are starting to set boundaries and have standards with modern women. Men are starting to use a word that most modern women have never heard in their entire lives. And the word is no. Alongside accountability and responsibility, this word is the kryptonite to modern women. And men are starting to use it more and more. This is something that should be celebrated because for far too long, men have been under the thumb of modern women supercharged by feminism. Men used to be strong and powerful leaders of society. But in recent decades, men have been essentially gaslit and manipulated into believing that they are shameful just for being born male. This is reflected on every level of society and with every level of analysis. Our government bent over and lubed up for feminism because they were successfully duped into believing the narrow-minded historical narrative men have always been the oppressive tyrants of women. But before we go any further with the video, let me get to the comment of the day. Shout out to Kim Jong-un. Yo, it's the real Kim Jong-un, guys. And he said, I will always feel bad for the kids of OnlyFans models. I can definitely see their kids growing up being bullied because everyone has their mom's nudes. There's going to be a huge increase in broke single moms with kids who get bullied at school because of this. So please, don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your five bucks. As always, guys, I'm going to pick one comment from each video. It could be the funniest, the most liked, or one that just made a real good point. So don't forget to leave a comment and you could be the very next winner. So be sure to hit that like and sub button too as the support helps out the channel a ton guys. So now let's get back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. This narrative has been allowed to propagate in society for far too long. This narrative turns men into squeaking little gerbils who would rather pay thousands of dollars a month to a random OnlyFans creator than become the leader his wife needs. The kind of leader who is able to set boundaries and tell his wife no. The kind of man who is not afraid to put women in their place when they need it. It's become a complete taboo in the society to suggest that women need to be corrected sometimes. The narrative has shifted to the point where women are almost completely beyond criticism. It's absolutely not okay to criticize a woman, because feminism has successfully installed a belief inside the heads of just about everybody that women are these infallible, angelic beings incapable of doing damage to themselves and other people. This has driven men underground to the point where the average man is terrified of saying no to a woman. This is why feminism has been allowed to run rampant in the society. It's the societal equivalent of a weak man letting his wife get drunk, dance on tables, and generally screw up the party for everybody else. Except this is happening in society at large. Feminism and modern women are the drunk wife dressing like a prostitute, sleeping with whoever she wants, and being verbally abusive. Modern men are the browbeaten, silent, wimpy, and simpy husband who lets his wife do everything. And now it's time for men to reclaim their spot as the leaders of society. This starts with men saying no to the women in their lives. When men start doing this more, a ripple effect will occur in society where women start to reflect on their own behavior and realize how destructive it is. The fact of the matter is, when a man has absolutely no capacity to say no and set boundaries with the women in his life, things start to look ugly pretty quickly. I'm sure you've got some examples in your own life of friends who are in a relationship on the surface, but deep down he's under her control. He's traded his self-respect for sex and affection. It's really sad to see a man with so much potential waste his time under the thumb of a woman who doesn't respect him and deep down is constantly looking for an upgrade. Let me show you an example of what it looks like when a man is completely oblivious to the games his woman is playing. The man in this next clip seems like a genuinely good dude, but he's being taken for a ride by a woman who's playing him like a fine instrument. Make your own mind up. How old are you? 26. 
22. How long you been together? Two, Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you you only you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife, and this is the wife I want. So no. Okay. Now what about you? If he gave you one? If he gave me a guilt-free pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. Who would you take it with? Um, Lindy Waters the third. Don't even know who that is. That's our problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. Who else? Um, Barry Sanders. I'm in love with him. Now, what do you think those men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. That's crazy. <laughs> This kind of power imbalance is exactly the kind of thing that can happen when a man refuses to say no to a woman. Deep down, she completely loses respect for you and she starts looking for the door. She starts fantasizing about other men smashing in her walls like a pissed off contractor. She has a beta male but she dreams of a Chad putting her in her place in a kind of way that her current partner is incapable of. And something even uglier can happen when a man represses his capacity to stand up to his woman a deep and burning presentment can build towards his partner. This kind of thing is when a relationship can turn completely toxic, and it all stems from a man having such low self-esteem that he's willing to tolerate terrible behavior instead of saying no to a woman and setting some boundaries. The next clip I'm about to show you is a perfect example of this. Watch this clip and pay attention to the deep and seething resentment this man clearly has for the woman he's with. This is what it looks like when a man has absolutely no boundaries. Boyfriend, so. <laughs> Wait, ex-boyfriend? Yep. She calls us friends, but I don't consider us friends. What do you guys consider each other? Technically still figure it out, but I'm the one she calls when she needs to cry. I've tried. It's a work in progress. It's one, so is everything. It's one work in progress. So you guys are just trying to work on things? See how it goes. I'm trying to work on things. If he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah. On who? Zach Efron, Josh Bowman, some celebrity, hot celebrity. You turn that down? Mm-mm. Couldn't do it. All right, what if it was all the way around? I know what I'm worth. One night with one celebrity doesn't change who I am. So you wouldn't use it? Even There's if I no gave point. it to you? No. Because it's it, it sounds like a trap. If, if, if your significant other is willing to give you a one night and a one night stand with anybody in the world, it sounds like a trap for your loyalty. Fuck, no, fuck that. You've been warned. If you don't set boundaries and start saying no to the women in your life, this is what things can look like. Your woman openly disrespects you in front of people and you end up playing second fiddle. If she tells you to jump, you don't say no, you ask how high. I can't even begin to describe the mass of potential that we've lost as a species from men allowing themselves to be dominated by women. We're seeing an unprecedented level of weakness in this society because we've been completely incapable of establishing a solid masculine frame and sticking to it. But luckily, that is starting to change. Let's think about the kinds of boundaries that men are starting to set with women. Modern women will have men believe that these boundaries are toxic and depressive, but this is just a manipulation tactic because these kinds of boundaries are entirely reasonable. Men are saying that they don't want their woman to dress like a prostitute. I can't believe that we've reached a point in society where a man needs to justify this kind of boundary. Why would a woman who respects her man want to dress like a prostitute in public anyway? And let's play the double standard game for a moment. I'm sure that a woman in a relationship would not be happy if her man was buying dinner and gifts for other women in his life. That would trigger her feminine instincts in a heartbeat. She would be encouraged to set a boundary with him and possibly give him an ultimatum. The sisterhood would be clicking their fingers and saying you go girl, encouraging this woman to know her worth. But the thing is, as soon as a man sets a boundary, it's not okay. This is because feminism has conditioned modern women to believe that they should have absolutely everything for no sacrifice at all. 
They should be able to live the single life, dressing how they want in public, attracting the attention of countless men while also having a loving husband who treats her like a princess. Oh, and she doesn't have to sacrifice anything for this because that would be toxic masculinity to expect that an adult woman changes herself in any way. Because feminism also told modern women that they are perfect just as they are. The thing is, self-aware women realize that they want a man who can stand up to them. After all the bad boys that I dated, I thought, you know what, let me just date the good guy. And that didn't work out because I felt like superior to him. It was no uh, sexual polarity. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss. I felt was like... You, did you find yourself snapping on him and getting a little bit more disrespectful than you normally would? Very. That's typically what happens. Yeah. And I did things to him that I wouldn't do to Katie. And it's unfortunate because he's the good guy. He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have, whenever that was supposed to happen. At some point in our relationship he didn't put me in my place as the woman as his woman and he didn't show me that he can lead so i felt like i was leading the entire household when it's really supposed to be him men are also setting a boundary by refusing to allow women to get sloppy drunk in the club without them why would a self-respecting man allow his woman to get sloppy drunk in a club surrounded by other men wanting to have sex with her this has nothing to do with trust this has everything to do with respect. A woman who chooses to do this has absolutely no reason for her man. She's still hungry for male attention and she will leave her husband the moment a better option comes along. A man setting this boundary is protecting the relationship by not allowing his woman to get into unnecessary situations that could compromise the relationship. But modern women will attack a man for setting this kind of boundary. This is because modern women are, by definition, immature children who have never been told no in their entire lives. Another boundary men are starting to put in place is prohibiting that partner from posting thirst trap bikini photos all over Instagram. Let me tell you one of the roles a woman has in a relationship. To make her man look good in public. A man's reputation and status is extremely important. If people notice that his woman doesn't even respect this man, why should they? This is clearly a man who isn't even worth the respect of his wife. Therefore, this is likely not a man to be respected. When a woman acts like a prostitute all over Instagram attracting the attention of thirsty men, it's broadcasting to everybody else that she doesn't respect him. This actively makes her man look bad in the eyes of everybody else. Cast your mind back to the last time you saw a man being disrespected by his girlfriend or wife. Aside from the sympathy you feel for him, if he allows it to continue, you would probably think less of him, wouldn't you? Not only this, a woman who posts bikini photos all over Instagram is clearly not mother material. It's as Plato the Stoic once said, she belongs to the streets. I don't understand her logic. How is it insecurity to not want to share a woman? I think that's I think that's masculine in its essence. Like, you know, that's that's my woman and you yeah. know, no one else has access and scarcity determines value. So I, I don't get why people I, find this so hard to understand. You know what else? I wonder like if we say I want a tall man, does that make me insecure? <laughs> it's like women can say whatever and it doesn't make us insecure. Recently, men have removed the main negotiating tactic that women have been using since the dawn of time. Women used to be able to call the shots by threatening to take sex off the table, but men have realized they can do without. Countless cultures throughout society and across history have associated powerful masculinity with the ability to establish sexual discipline. We've lost contact with this kind of ancient wisdom, but maybe those guys had a point. Maybe it weakens you as a man to never be able to say no to sex because it means never being able to say no to a woman. And if you are never able to say no to a woman, that means she will emasculate you, belittle you, and ultimately destroy you. That's because modern women don't actually want to partner most of the time. They want to bait a male to be able to control. But the screwed up thing is, she will eventually come to disrespect and hate this beta male because she can control him so easily. That's when she starts to fantasize about the chads who can put her in her place. I've gone out in the streets here and interviewed probably over 50 girls and asked them this question, like, would you be opposed to a man telling you you can't go to bars or clubs or parties? And their only answers are, he's insecure, he's controlling, or he has a small... In the current social climate, most men have been absolutely bullied out of having any sort of preference, standard, or boundary. Again, men constantly get shamed for articulating or even having 
anything that could be viewed as controlling or insecure. This is the destruction of men's impulse to be protectors in the relationship and protecting relationships from attack, essentially. But the truth is, men setting boundaries is creating a dumpster fire of a reaction from modern women. This is because modern women have never been told no in their entire lives. Make no mistake about it, we are currently living in an age of male weakness. This is reflected in every area of society. Modern women are the result of weak and passive fathers who drank the feminist Kool-Aid and allowed their daughters to do anything they wanted without consequence or repercussion. These men provided for their daughters, gave them everything they wanted whenever they wanted it, and never once told them no. And that's why these women have an existential crisis when a man tells them no. They've never experienced it before. When you tell a woman no, she is likely to react in a few predictable ways. Women with boundaries are considered strong and empowered. Men with boundaries are considered abusive and controlling. This society is set up to benefit women at the expense of men, and this double standard is evidence of that. A woman will attack your masculinity and she will assume you have a small penis. This is a pure manipulation tactic because she's hitting you where she assumes it hurts you the most. This is schoolyard level childish manipulation and it deserves no attention. The you're just insecure card is one of the most common cards a modern woman will play when you start to set boundaries. The basic premise is that if you were secure in yourself, you would let her do whatever she wants because theoretically, you're so secure that you don't care. There are two problems I have with this. One is that these bulletproof James Bond kind of men only exist in movies and women who expect a man to be stoically cold and indifferent to everything is spreading toxic masculinity by her own definition. The second problem I have is that it's an obvious manipulation tactic that you can attempt in practically any situation. As soon as your man starts establishing a boundary, you can just play the insecurity card, and most men will fold like a deck of cards because no man wants to be seen as insecure. But a man who maintains his boundaries and refuses to cave into her is actually far more secure than a man who will go back on his principles just because she called him names. Putting women in their place and telling them no is how you keep your self-respect and gain hers. Obviously, gaining the respect of modern women isn't worth much in this day and age. I'm just pointing out a fact. One of the best things we are doing as a community is saying no. Not just with our words, but with our actions. And we are doing that by walking away. That is the ultimate no we could ever tell these women. So hold the line, say no to these modern women, and stay on the path of self-improvement. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.